hello and welcome in this video we are going to learn how we can display the user image here so for me it was a little difficult because if you go to your code and let's go to profile uh, that view here is the picture we have so far if I come all the way up there uh, follower following here we have a default picture yeah this is the default picture for the background and here is another picture here what you can do is you cannot do something like writing the directory here because you are in the view file here so how would you do that one so basically this is very easy if I just show you di the direct way I will not just show you how it is going to fail times and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a colon here this colon means we are going to bind a S or C attribute for our HTML so we are going to bind the value and I will just give it a name of function get the fun a function name like you can say get profile photo this is just a basic function and I can create this function now this function is going to take the user photo what is good about functioning is like you can pass the directory name the, when you are writing it in the methods here this is a lot easy so you write it here and then what you can do is this function is going to return this value what you can do is you can write the directory name here and then plus you can say just combine it with this dot photo that you have here this is basically like that so let's see how we can write the directory name so if i open the sidebar to check that where is our file here is the public inside image we have profile something like that what you can do is so here is the function oh, okay in javascript of course you will use plus for concatenation and you say you go to the image directory from here uh, going to profile and then here you know all our images are inside the profile so this is it for this one if i save it this time let's see if it display the image if i check out that it should compile down all our file yeah it didn't save it so if i save it it is compiling and let's come to our application i refresh the page it should display the image properly now oh yeah it didn't show so if i just check out what is wrong i select this one you come here you say go to profile and it is undefined what is undefined okay yes here is the wrong thing we said this that profile we don't have something like directly here this dot form dot pro dot photo should be here so this dot form dot photo if i save it this time and let's wait for the compile yes refresh the page this time it should display the user instead of undefined so yeah here is the user profile here and it is working just fine so let's change it now if i come to here and we change something let's pick a girl this time and i select this photo from here and we update the profile it send the request it was successful and if i come to my desk in the desktop and my app let i start in the images directory yeah we have the photo here but it did not update here what it did it just changed it to something different if i come here and let's see what is different yeah the profile is just the base 64 copy of that because we update that one this is going to change if we are refreshing the page from here so this is another problem so it should by default take that one so that is another common problem that you might face so i can fix that for you but i would like you to do that one this is very basic like if a user pick an image here so it should display the image directly here how it is going to be done you can figure out that one so that is going to be an easy task for you if you want to learn of course you have to do it practically if you could not just search around and do it i know how to do that one so this is easy for me if you can do it do it and otherwise just ask me in the comments below i will do that by um, in the next videos so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and next step i hope we don't have any more things to do in the profile of course there are some other stuff 
what we can do is we can work on the user level like this is a basic user we have admin we have author we have different type of user and we are going to give them permission to have limited access to our application so that is what we are going to do in the next video so see you in the next video